Are you guys aware of that supposed story going around about the Mayo Clinic hiring only, uh, eliminating credible people to hire only uh, very marginalized and troubled people? Uh, it, it's it put out on Twitter and it was sent to me. And a lot of the stuff the guys send me, I got to spend a half hour verifying. It's not true. Mayo Clinic has been forced to clarify its hiring policies after a right-wing social media account accused the hospital of discriminating against straight white people, a claim that was then shared on X by Elon Elon Musk. And it's false, uh, according to the Mayo Clinic. Now, uh, I'm going to take the word of the Mayo Clinic over the word of anybody who puts something on X. Okay. So the, the Mayo Clinic says this is BS. That's good enough for me. End of that story. I think many would agree with you. That's the problem with X, sorting through all the nonsense to find one fact. It's Well, there were no exhausting. facts in this. It was put out by libs of TikTok, whatever that is. Mm. It's a yeah, very conservative organization. And then, of course, the problem for me there, who was it chaired by? The owner. The okay. owner of the company. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, the trouble is, in this day and age, it's plausible, but it's not true. <laughs> All right. Now, sit down, relax, get a cup of Kick water back. or whatever, coffee, yeah. whatever. Oh, coffee. Yeah. Occasionally, apparently, uh, uh, climate change experts are brought to Senate committees to testify and a uh, young cross-country skier named Gus Schumacher was brought to the Senate to testify. Uh, Gus was born in Wisconsin, apparently lives in Alaska. And he's being questioned by Senator John Kennedy, a Republican of Louisiana. And at the beginning, you can uh, you can hear Kennedy uh, get to the some get to the bottom of something I was curious about. Who, in fact, invited this this kid? He's a kid. He's in his 20s, I suppose. Who invited him to testify mm -hmm. about climate change? And it turns out that Schumacher's answer is, I'm here with, uh, uh, what's the name of it? Sheldon I'm here with Protect Our no, Winters. No. And then further develops that this group, Protect Our Winters, is one of a thousand mm -hmm. groups dedicated to climate change hysteria. And... And that protect our winters apparently was invited to send a representative to the Senate hearings on climate change. And that was done by Senator Sheldon Whitehouse. Okay. He's a Democrat of Rhode Island. He's very keen on being convinced the world is ending due to climate change. He's an attorney by trade. Uh, uh, traces his political lineage to the Clinton administration. Uh, and he's a dyed-in-the-wool believer. So here is, so this is what our elected officials do, uh, you know, on our behalf. They bring experts to testify. And here is a climate change expert called Gus Schumacher. And he's being uh, questioned by Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana. Senator Kennedy. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Mr. Vice Chairman. Mr. Schumacher, welcome. You were, uh, who invited you here today? I came with Protect Our Winters. Right. Um, but you're here on behalf of the Democrats or the Republicans? I'm here on behalf of the outdoor enthusiasts around America. Okay. You were contacted by Senator Whitehouse's staff? I personally uh, came with Protect Our Winters, so I don't okay. know how that went. Okay. Exactly. Um, what is what is carbon dioxide? <laughs> I'm, I went to high school, but that's uh, carbon dioxide is a, a gas. Okay. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a professional to talk about carbon dioxide so much but right well you, you want us to abolish it right no i 
there's always going to be carbon dioxide. Right. So, so what is it you want us to do? I uh, let, me, let me back up because I, I want to. I mean, you're here as an expert. Tell me more about what carbon dioxide is. I'm here as an expert cross country skier who sees the changes in my winters and the landscape that I live in in Alaska. And so, carbon dioxide is what I see it as is, you know, it's a gas that exists in our atmosphere. And what, is it the major part of our atmosphere? Or? It's a huge part of our atmosphere, yes. It's actually a very small part of our atmosphere. 0.04%. Well, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. What are you asking specifically? Uh, well, you said we need to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. I'd like to know first if you know what it is. You want us to abolish fossil fuels? I never said that. You never have said that? No. Okay. What What do you think we ought to do with fossil fuels? What will we do with fossil fuels? Yeah. Should we make any changes? I would like to see a decrease in the use of fossil fuels. I think there's a possibility to use more electric generation. Okay. Over, over what period of time? 10 years, 50 years, 100 years? That's not... I would like to see it come as fast as possible while continuing... How fast? On. Sorry? How fast? I'm not, I don't have a good you don't answer know? for that. No. Okay. You just think, well, uh, how, how much will it cost for us to uh, become carbon neutral in the United States by 2050? I'm not a professional on that. I don't have an answer. You don't have any idea? No. You, you just think we ought to spend the money? I'm not an economist. Yeah, but it's going to cost money. You realize that? Yeah, but we've also talked about the the trade-off of what the cost of climate change as emergencies will cost in the future also. so Right, but it's going to cost trillions of dollars to become carbon neutral by 20,050, right? I do not know. You don't know. You just think we ought to do it. I I don't have a great answer for you, but I think okay. I would... If, like we spent, if we spent those trillions of dollars and became carbon neutral by 2050 in the United States... Um, which you advocate, how much will it reduce world temperatures? I don't have an answer for that. You don't know? No. You just think we ought to spend the money and then see what happens? I think wow. as an athlete, I think if we spend that money and invest in our future, hopefully those temperatures stop rising and maybe the snow at least stabilizes where it is for me. But, yeah, I don't think anyone knows for sure. I don't know anyway. Well, when 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 when... My colleagues invite witnesses to come to us to tell us, uh, advise us on passing legislation. I always check out the background of our witnesses because I like to know who I'm talking to. Um, I'm, I, I checked yours out, Mr. Schumacher, um, and I want to be sure I understand it as I evaluate your testimony. Uh, on June 8, 2020, you tweeted, I'm going to quote, the war on drugs was intentionally created to incarcerate black people en masse, end quote. The war on drugs, you said, was intentionally created to incarcerate black people en masse. Who, who intentionally created the war on drugs to put black people in jail? Who were you talking about? I don't remember typing that. You don't? No. It's on your Twitter feed. Maybe a retweet. I don't know. I haven't used that in a while. Well, also, even it if it's a retweet, like it's, it shows your support, right? Maybe, yeah. I, but it's not the topic of this conversation. I right, think. right. But it has to do with you're here giving us advice, and I just kind of like to know a little bit more about you. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm here as an athlete giving you my story and what okay. I've seen in my on, field. on August 27th of 2020. You tweeted this, quote, I'm going to quote, police are paid with taxpayer dollars. If they are not answerable to us, we can demand new service. And that's what this is. Abolish the police in favor of that new service, end quote. You think we ought to abolish the police, do you? Again, not the topic I'm here to talk about today. I know, but, but you tweeted it. Do you think we ought to abolish the police? That's not what I'm here to talk about. Should we do that before or after we get rid of fossil fuels? <laughs> I'm not going to address that. That's... Yeah, you don't want to address it. Okay. 
Uh, let me ask you about one more of your tweets. On August 26, 2020, you tweeted, there's a picture, I'm not going to describe the picture, but you said, quote, your words, not mine, it's on your Twitter feed, the, quote, this is what systemic racism looks like. The Los Angeles Police Department is literally policing only the Black Lives Matter side, end quote. What do you mean by that? This is still off topic. No, it's not. You're here as an expert telling us, <laughs> advising us, and I'm asking you about your, your, your background. I'm here as an athlete <laughs> to talk about the effects of climate change on my sport. Okay, let's go back. Well, I'm almost out of time. Senator, you're well out of time, and we have other senators waiting, so okay. please wrap up when you have a moment. All right. Th thank you all for your testimony. Uh, yeah, but there's no need to comment. Really? Protect Our Winters has on its, according to their website, they have a scientist, supposedly, uh, why I wonder why they didn't send the scientist uh, and protect our winters. You can buy a lot of hats and shirts and stuff with POW on them. Get it? Uh, merch. They have merch. They got so a lot of merch. And they've got an expert mountain biker and an expert runner, but they do have a scientist, Nina, somebody. And uh, Gus, uh, Gus Schumacher is listed as their skier. And if you're a passionate outdoor enthusiast who cares about protecting your natural playgrounds, then uh, show that commitment to the world by wearing POW. In other words, buy our T-shirts and stuff. But here's the problem. Uh, if this is the best our elected officials can come up with to sell the nation on this, what they're counting on is what they're betting on is that People have uh, are buying the, the uh, climate change hysteria just because they hear about it so much. I'll give you a, I'll give you a brief example. As part of the news coverage yesterday by local television stations, quite understandably, they went around and talked to people about this snow event we had yesterday. And they found a married couple and they began chatting and it was all pleasant. And, and at one point, uh, uh, the woman said, well, you, you know, you get a little nervous about global warming. And, and that's because that's all she's thought about. She hasn't thought critically for five seconds past that point. And so she, she was worried about, you know, we had no winter. You worry, you get a little nervous about global warming. And then we get this, I, I guess it's good because I don't have to use my snowblower on and on and on. But my point is, People uh, have not thought they've been really sold this BS. Mm -hmm. And th this this kid is a classic example of just blindly uh, joining the Protect Our Winters group, uh, probably uh, enthusiastically to be their representative skier. And the next thing you know, the poor suckers <laughs> invited to Washington and he has no idea what the hell he's talking about. Right. Zero. Zero idea. So uh, I thought that was important to play because it's so relevatory about th there's nobody that that they could bring to Congress that would that well, would be able to convince right. you. Right. Well, I think they sabotaged the kid and themselves, and they did themselves great harm. I clicked on the scientist portion of their website, Joe. They've got a whole team of scientists that yeah. they could have trotted into yeah. Washington and had him speak with at least a little bit of authority. And this kid was half-baked, it seemed, and uh, you know, all he could you do know, to keep from saying, all I need is a cool wave. And no, a right. and you know what I kept thinking? That scene in Big Lebowski yeah. where uh, Lebowski goes, you mind if I do a J? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's by the real Lebowski. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, it might be telling of who they have on their staff that they thought this was the best kid to send. They really hurt themselves. Yeah. And that uh, Struther Martin sounding dude, he didn't do himself any favors, especially with the first tweet 
about uh, the blacks and the yeah, weed laws. Yeah, he should have stuck to the climate. Yeah, that was, he, he really made himself look stupid. And of course, we know why marijuana laws were invented, not only black people, but Mexican and anybody else who wasn't, a, you know, perfect in society at the time. Yeah, even Ehrlichman admitted that's why Nixon. Yeah. <laughs> you I, I, I mean, to, uh, uh, Struther Martin really blew it with that uh, portion. <laughs> He really did have a, a voice identical to Strother Martin. Yeah, what we have here <laughs> is a failure to communicate. <laughs> no, but there there is no uh, there is no climate crisis. I get tired of pointing that out. I, it, it, but it's so obvious. It's so evident that people don't even think about it. They right. just they just they accept what they're told. What what is the word for that? Oh, oh, I know what it is. Brainwashing. I guess it must be. Yeah. Yes, it must be. POW has just, if you go to their page, yeah, I'm already up to about 50 folks who work for them, and I yeah. haven't even made it down the whole thing. I know, yet, so. I know. Yeah. yeah. They must pay a lot of salaries unless they're all working for free. And then they're, and again, they're one of, you know, you can throw a dart at the board and you're going to hit 50 groups that are the same type right. of group that want to pretend that we're all in big trouble. And 